Good morning, everybody. The temperature now is 610 and we're beginning our day off with chilly conditions and it's going to get windy today. In fact, we're beginning our week off that way. Windy and cold for today and tomorrow as well. In fact, some snow showers in the hill towns this morning. Then I think tonight everybody could see some flakes. Not that it's going to be a major accumulation, but especially in the hill towns tonight and even in the valley, maybe a few flakes as a disturbance drops on down. And then after that, get ready for a change. So we are not locked into the cold. It's today and tomorrow. By Wednesday, we start to come out of it, and we could have an extended period of above normal temperatures starting Thursday and lasting perhaps beyond the weekend and into next week. But as the kids head off to the bus stop this morning, it will be blustery and chilly in the valley, maybe a flake. Temperatures in the mid-30s. We'll have some sunshine mixed with the clouds, though. Temperatures not coming up a whole lot this afternoon. Windy as they're heading home, a little more in the way of sunshine with temperatures in the upper 30s. Wind advisory in effect for all of southern New England where winds could gust up to 50 miles per hour. That's all due to that storm system moving out. It's in eastern Canada now, but on the back side of it, it's creating that wind and it's kicking up uh, the uh, also the chilly temperatures too. 37 now, but readings don't go up much at all today. We'll be lucky if we get back to 40 degrees. Winds aren't too gusty yet, but winds will get gusty later on this morning and into the afternoon. We could have from time to time winds gusting between 40 and 50 miles per hour. And in fact, on the back side of our storm system, picking up moisture off of the lakes, depositing it as snow across New York State and even into the Brookshires. We're noticing some snow showers down into the valley, places like Worthington, Huntington, Blanford, Russell, maybe a few flakes in the air. We can see a minor accumulation across uh, Berkshire County where maybe a coating to an inch or two, just uh, some scattered coatings in the hills that will likely melt away as it's falling. And in the valley, maybe just a flake. Really, the story in the valley, and for most of us, it's going to be about the wind and the chill. With our area of low pressure now in eastern Canada, but behind it, it's pulling down the cold air, and we got a w couple of little weak waves moving through. One this morning, then we'll see more in the way of sunshine this afternoon. Another one overnight tonight, and that could bring a round of snow showers, particularly across the hill towns, but even in the valley, a few flakes tonight into tomorrow morning, but temperatures will be marginal, so we're not expecting uh, any problems on the roadways in the valley overnight tonight into tomorrow, but there could be a minor accumulation tonight into tomorrow morning. Yet again, the hill towns in the Berkshires, we could see some scattered coatings to an inch or two, but the sun will come out tomorrow. Temperatures will get back close to 40 degrees. It'll still be breezy. Keep in mind, 40 is below normal for this time of year. Only 38 today, 40 to about maybe 44 tomorrow for election day. And then on Wednesday, back closer to normal with temperatures in the low to mid 50s at that point. And we're just getting started with our warm up because by Thursday and on into the weekend, we could be talking about a number of days where temperatures get up over 60 degrees. How about that? That's some good news, right? For uh, those not hoping that the winter is not settling in by no means. In fact, by the weekend, we could be flirting with 70. So far, so good for that weekend, huh? the first weekend of November. All right, that's a look at your forecast. We'll be back in 10 minutes. Taylor, join me.